We had a question from Adam. Boy, Adam, he's been around. It seems a long time. I acquired a barbell set in March. Good for you. Previously, I'd done kettlebell and bodyweight training. Since starting the barbell work, I have done a 5x5 five five program twice a week and have been pleased. After listening to your show, I became interested in learning the Olympic lifts and I have a neighbor who is a former college athlete and coach who agreed to teach me. I came across two articles you have written containing Olympic lifting programs. One is a beginner's program and the other is a two-day-a-week program. Yeah, I have a lot more than that. I mean, I have dozens of Olympic lifting programs, but... Those are the two you found. Currently, I train twice a week for an hour or a little more. Yeah, and that's, for the most of the people I work with, an hour of Olympic lifting is plenty. Um, uh, in my own case here, Adam, um, I, got, I just keep trying to not say Adam and Eve jokes, so just forgive me. Um, I, you know, I do a half an hour of serious uh, Olympic lifting with a timer on. And then I do some general um, uh, hypertrophy work, and then I go for a walk. If I was to do an hour of just the Olympic lifting, man, I don't know if I could lift three days a week because I just get so oh, tired. Um, currently, I train twice a week for an hour and a little more. I work a very physical job and find I feel the best when I lift twice a week as opposed to higher frequency. Yeah, and that's why so many of my programs are like for... I have a whole bunch of programs called like for the busy guy or the busy person and stuff like that. And almost universally, I recommend two days a week. Uh, if you want to compete, then I recommend, I recommend that you have a, a Saturday workout, a Sunday workout, and then Wednesday you come in and do one exercise. Um, like just one exercise. Like if you want an Olympic lift, it'd be front squats, or overhead squats. So Saturday, sorry, and I'm riffing here just a little bit, but just a Saturday could be the power day or let's... Let's we'll, we'll flip that. So on Saturday, we'll ha I would have you snatch, clean and jerk, front squat, maybe farm or walk. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Sunday, power snatch, power clean, push jerk, back squat, and then maybe sled pull. Wednesday, either front squat or overhead squat. You know, nothing crazy, and just to, just so you don't lose that mobility um, with that long break. And there we go. Also, started a business on the side, of course. We all do this. Uh, family ob obligations and church involvement results in limited train time. Due to this, I train Monday and Thursday morning. My question, would you recommend doing the beginner program twice a week, the two-day program, or possibly something else for an Olympic lifting beginner? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what you pick. The thing I would tell you, Adam, is that... Uh, uh, you got to snatch and clean and jerk on those two workouts. You probably want a front squat. Uh, but be smart about this. If time is a real problem, you can go. A program we used to use, boy, it was good. I used this Utah, Utah State in my throwers. You walk in, you put weight on the bar, and you do power snatch followed by uh, overhead squat. So power snatch, overhead squat, and you, you build the weight up. And then you slide over to squat snatch, okay? When the squat get, snatch gets to a load that's, you know, sort of like, huh, okay, that's heavy. Then you just stay with that last weight, and then you power clean it, push jerk it. And then you add a little bit more load, maybe two, three sets of every single. So three, four jumps in the power snatch over a squat. Three, four jumps in the squat snatch three, four uh, jumps in the uh, power clean push jerk, three, four singles in the clean and jerk, and then add either at your last clean and jerk weight or just a tiny bit more, like two sets of two in the front squat. Uh, do a sled pull, a prowler, uh, go for a nice walk, and that's a good little two-day week program for you. Uh, is it perfect? Well, no, but nothing's perfect, so don't worry about it, okay? And Adam... Um, you kind of inspired me here, and I, I, I hope other listeners uh, try this program too. Because as I recall, it worked really, really well. I mean, because, and you're adding weight almost every single set to the bar, um, which makes it nice. Uh, I mean, if you're doing the power snatch, let's just say it's 135, uh, 60 kilos. So you do 60 kilos, you add weight, 
62 kilos, 64 kilos, 66. I mean, you just keep, you just keep adding weight after every set and you just keep bouncing up. And if you start to get shaky, you just move to a more efficient exercise. So I hope that helps. Thank you. And good luck to you. Let me know how this goes. Okay. Thanks.